we have talked about the hole. And we have talked about cutting the hole up into equal pieces. So this is one half of a whole of a whole tortilla. Now, we need to learn how to write these and say the names. So let me give you another example. If I'm going to take this tortilla, I'm going to slice it in half real quick. I'm going to slice this half into halves, which was going to make these pieces, these quarters here. So we have, now we have fourths, right? So this guy gets one fourth of the pizza because this is a fourth, this is a fourth, this is a fourth, and this is a fourth. And this guy's getting one fourth of the pizza. Let's look at that on the whiteboard. Keep him. Our friend now is lucky enough to get cake. So let's pretend this is a cake and let's pretend it's a beautiful, perfect circle. Now, there are three people at the party, so we need to split the cake up into three pieces. Boom. Remember, each piece is called a third. So this is a third, this is a third, and this is a third. We've cut the cake up into thirds. How much did he get? He got one of these thirds. He got this piece. Make sense? Let's do another one. There were these sandwiches at that same party. So here's our sandwich. But the sandwiches weren't whole sandwiches. They were cut already into little fours like this. And our friend here ate this piece. So the sandwich is cut into fourths. How much did our friend the Ewok eat? He ate one, because that's the number he ate, fourth because that's the number of total pieces. One, two, three, four. He had one fourth. Let's do another one. This time let's get something with, let's get something bigger. What do you say? That was this really long, I don't know what this is. Whatever it is, it sure is good. Imagine whatever you want, but it's good. And we slice it up. I don't know how many slices I'm making. I'm just gonna kind of make all the slices like this. Perfect. And he gets one piece here. That's his piece. All right. So, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. So how much did he eat? He ate one out of six pieces or one sixth. That's hard to say. One sixth. All right. Now, Let's have a look at it on the whiteboard. All right, the work pages say a fraction is a number. It names part of a whole or part of a group. The top number tells how many equal parts are being counted. The bottom number tells how many equal parts are in the whole. A unit fraction names one equal part of a whole. It always has one, one as its top number. How much is one part of a fruit bar that is cut into eight equal parts? Step one, use fraction strips. Make a strip showing eight equal parts or eighths. Okay, so here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Step two, shade one of the parts and name it. So we're gonna shade one part here, just like this, just like that on the example, and name it. This fraction is called one Eighth, see, one eighth. 
So one part of a fruit bar that can be divided into eight equal parts is one eighth. Cool. Write the number of equal parts in the whole, then write the fraction that names the shaded part. The number of equal parts. So there's one, two, three, four equal parts. I'm going to write my four here. And then the fraction that names the shaded part. So a fraction, so there's one that's shaded. And there's four, one, two, three, four, all together. So the answer is one fourth. See you tomorrow. Good luck.